Hey guys, this is Jason, and this is my first YouTube video. I will be narrating over a quick sketch I did of Aku from Samurai Jack. If you're not, if you're uh, not familiar, go check it out. There's a new season out, and it's so good. So basically, uh. Uh, what I do when I first start, like most paintings, especially if, if I have the time, is uh, I like to do sort of a black and white sketch in uh, with shapes and values. I know some people like to use line work when they're designing initially, and that's great. I used to do that too, but uh, for me and uh, now it's so much faster to just do, uh, you know, just brush strokes, just fast, just block, put on just a bunch of paint, uh, digital paint. Um, just to figure out like the forms and the design and I like to stick with the black and white because uh, uh, you know like if I have to think about color and all that stuff at the same time it's such a you know it's a headache like it great just simplifying it and just starting with the black and white really makes it easier for me and uh, I can really just you know there's, it's very non-committal you could mess around with it, you can change it, warp, whatever, do what you want, since it's so uh, rough in the, at this stage. And uh, basically, well, you know, what I'm thinking about, like, right now is, like, where is the lighting? Like, how is his face being lit up? Like, uh, what kind of things can I push to the front because it's lit and what stuff should be in shadow, etc.? And that is all dependent on where the light source is. And in this painting, there are two. I am doing a light <clears throat> from his, you know, his, you know, his flaming, flaming fucking eyebrows are super bright. So that's one light source. And then also another one that's just hitting him just from off screen, hitting his face. And I'm arranging it in a way to really emphasize, uh, you know, so if you don't know, Aku is this, uh, he's like this shape-shifting, demonic, uh, creature that has, like, this crazy Japanese-inspired, Japanese Oni mask-inspired face, and so I really want to emphasize that, I want to make sure I get all those hard edges and those grooves and those creases to really make it look like he's got this crazy wooden, scary face. And, uh, I mean, now that I'm moving on to color, you know, I figured out, like, the light, kind of basic, j just where the light source is and all that stuff. And, uh, color is, like, in the beginning, when I first started out, like, it was such a headache. I, it was a pain because I just didn't really understand it. And... I didn't know how to manipulate it in the way I wanted it to, but uh, it, you can break it down. I mean, after a while, it's all mileage. After a while, it gets much easier to you simplify like how you want to do like the color and how like color dictates the mood of your painting, etc. And this piece in particular is pretty simple because. It's just, it's not a lot of colors, it's just, you know, he's this black shape and he has a, uh, you know, green face with red accents and that's the beauty of Photoshop, you can just choose the kind of green you want, the kind of red you want and uh, I'll, we can go deeper into this, I mean, in probably in another video, but uh, but for this particular image you know, like the green and the red is basically the local natural color of his face. He's got a green painted face with red accents or what have you. And this is sort of like, it can't just be like a cool green or anything. It has to be sort of a warm, like everything has to be warm because he's sort of in a warm environment. He's getting a reddish an environment with, you know, giant flaming eyebrows. So that should dictate a lot of the color and the light when it's applied to this uh, image like you should you should choose like an appropriate green appropriate red and that'll really help sell like that'll really help like uh, put get bring everything together pretty much 
just that warm tone. And another quick thing to note is uh, I'm trying to indicate like the different kinds of materials on his face. So he shouldn't look like he's made out of like plastic, like everything. Uh, I'm trying to make sure like his eyes look shiny and like what moist his the fire should look like fire and like his face like the wood should look like it's a sort of a matte finished sort of wood that's sort of painted on there should be like I, I added like little nicks I'm adding like little nicks and things to his uh, teeth maybe they're a little bit rough etc etc um, those horns, maybe they could be shiny or have like little scale, like scaly texture on them. And that's another thing just to, you know, give some visual interest to your piece. Just something to think about. And, you know, I think that's it for this video. I know it was quick. I want to do more of these in the future. So if you have something you'd like to see or demonstrate or anything like that, please leave a suggestion in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more of my work or anything like that, you can check out my Instagram, my Facebook. I'll have all those links in the description box. And yes, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to go put on some pants. <laughs>